I'm dreaming of a white Christmas just like the what am I what am I singing Mia I am a bit late for that or maybe I'm singing early for next year right let's see what we're up to today don't worry Mia I'm not going anywhere on the bike today I took the pannier off look at the dirt the muck in that Got to have a damn good clean. I'm going to be working on putting my little notices in there today. My little signs I've made. Life is older, older than the trees, higher than a mountain. <laughs> take me home, country roads, to the place where I belong, West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country roads. Ah, good. <laughs> Spent ages doing, trying to undo that. It's it's a childproof lock, you see. <laughs> Child's children. Oh, hang on, there. Hello, Your Majesty. You come in. Yeah, a couple of biscuits there for you. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, uh, childproof locks, child children and OAPs, because I am actually an OAP. Unbelievable, but true. <coughs> actually, I've been an OAP for bloody ages. Right, yeah, so I've done these. Um, what I did was I sprayed, look, I did them on cardboard sprayed the cardboard black with some spray paint I just have to happen to have in my shed when that was dry I transferred the uh, lettering onto there and then I just painted them they're not they're not perfect as you can see but to the um, the quick glance they're fine and what I'm going to do now is just to protect them I'm going to varnish them a bit Uh, I'll do the backs first and then hopefully I'll be able to get it off that paper but uh, this will just protect them and if they were out Then we're out, I'll just make some more. That's soaked right in, so that should um, be doing a good job there. This varnish doesn't take very long to dry. But for now, I'll just do the back. And then I'll go and have a cup of tea, and then I'll come back and do the front. Um, I was going to explain what, what's happened with the paint in the front. It's just ordinary, my ordinary artist paint I've used to do the lettering. So uh, it's a bit, uh, the lettering's a, a little bit bumpy with, with the thickness of the paint. Um, if I'd used a, an acrylic or a water-based paint, would have gone on a lot smoother but I just sat in my wagon last night 
just had a board across my knee, just working away there. Look at that, it's already soaked in. That's already, I can even, means I can do the, I can do the other side as well. I can do the front as well. And just handy. Put a bit of a shine on it. Oh, that song's in my head because uh, George was singing it earlier. I never hear him listening to music or anything, and, and yet he, he comes out singing these songs that, you know, from years and years ago. Some of them even go back to the 50s. What it is, is his mum, she's, um, she loves the old uh, 50s songs. She's an Everly Brothers fan and Elvis, of course, uh, Elvis first, but she, when George was little, she, she actually took him to, um, oh, I don't know where it was, somewhere in America, they went on a trip. And there's a big old photograph of George with one of, one of the Everly Brothers. Oh, I can't remember now whether it's both of them. But yeah. So George is now a uh, Everly Brothers fan. I think one of them might have died. I'm not sure. I remember some of the old 50 songs because, uh, you know, when I was a boy, they were, they were Top of the Pops, although we didn't have Top of the Pops in those days. I'm going to put this varnish back in in that box because this varnish is artist varnish. It's very expensive, and I haven't uh, I haven't sported it in any way. <laughs> yeah, I think that'll do the job. Just let that dry. And then that's got, those have got to be, um, they go on. Oh, look at her, I'm trying to get out there again. She's always been like that. I used to have a little tiny stool and she used to sit on it. How the hell she ever managed to balance, I don't know. You are a funny girl, aren't you? Hey? Eh? Yeah, so these now go in there. That's my next project. I'm going to find a way to fix them. I've got a suspicion I'm, I might end up. I might end up uh, just sticking them on because they are just stickers. I'm sure you can get them. But uh, inside there, I don't know if you can see that. You've got these little holes there. You could, I could sort of put a little, one of those little plastic screws or a couple of plastic screws through. But, uh, yeah, I was thinking, oh, I don't want to spoil those, um, don't want to spoil the police stickers, but then, you know, this be my bike. Well, I'm not going to sell it. Uh, so it doesn't really matter, does it? I'd like to thank Judy for suggesting that I put this fan in front of, uh, behind the chimney rather than have it in front because uh, in that way the air is blowing past the chimney and uh, be blowing warm air instead of trying to, anyway, I'm trying that method and it seems to be, seems to be working fine. So thank you very much Judy.
very relaxing. I know some people think it's naughty to smoke a pipe, but you don't inhale, you know. It's just pleasant. You can just sort of sit and smoke a pipe and reflect on life. It's a weird thing, you know, um, I've had to delete, well I didn't have to, I've had to, but I had deleted another couple of people from my, from watching my, watching this channel that we're talking on now. It's weird, isn't it, how people seem to have to They just have to be nasty. Or maybe they don't realise they're being nasty, or maybe that's just way, the way they are. But you know, I want, I want this vlog to be a happy place to come to. I don't want to see nasty comments. And I particularly don't want to see nasty comments about my family and disgusting things said. I mean, I know these are just probably young, young kids sitting in their bedroom somewhere with nothing to do. But, uh, you know, if you couldn't say something to my face, don't say it on, on the comment section. Anyway, so while they're in their bedroom at home with their mummy and daddy, spewing out their bile. Um, I'm just happily deleting them. It's a, it's a lovely feeling. <laughs> oh. going to talk to you about walking the um, which I, I mean that's all I can do now as regards athletic stuff uh, and, and even when I walk it's not very athletic but I used to um, actually be a runner I used to do long distance running not for a club or anything I just used to run I just used to love running um, I remember I used to go and visit my mum who lived in a remote place in Scotland. I would get off the bus in the nearest town to where she was, which was, I think it was about nine or 10 miles away. I used to get off the bus and start running. And I used to run, not stop until I got there. I loved it. I, was, I felt like, you know, you get an adrenaline rush from it. I think that's why people do it a lot not just for fitness. You get this adrenaline rush and feel high as a kite. It's the same sort of feeling that I'm getting now when I'm on my motorbike. But there's something about it, you know, brain activity. My daughter told me it was serotonin, the uh, hormone or whatever, whatever it is that's activated when, and it makes you feel good, happy. Yes, anyway, I got hit one day, I was running. It was here in, in the local park, it was a, oh, a long time ago now. I got hit by a, I got sideswiped by a dog. A um, black and white border collie, I'll never forget it. Sideswiped my knee and uh, I fell, I went over and uh, the woman came up and you know, I was very sorry and everything. and. And if I was alright, and I limped off. I said, oh, "I'm alright, I'm alright." But of course, I wasn't alright. That was the end of my running days. So then I uh, took up walking. I tried that um, that fast walking, you know, where you that Olympic sport, fast walking. Uh, I didn't really enjoy that. Um, I used to go. <laughs> 
I used to get comments like, oh mate, nice ass," Because <laughs> you're wriggling your bum as you're coming. Yeah, I did have a nice ass actually. I remember one woman describing it, my bottom as like two eggs in a hanky when I was younger. Yeah, two eggs in a hanky. Well, it wasn't just some random woman actually. It was, it was my auntie. <laughs> Anyway, so I got so I got fed up with all the remarks when I was doing me, me fast walking, and, you know, wriggling the arm, and bombing it, and uh, you know, you know, you've seen them doing it on the uh, <laughs> on the Olympics. Uh, and yes, yeah, so I gave up that because I couldn't stand all the mockery. No, really, I didn't didn't give a monkey's about it. Just gave it up because I was getting older and. Uh, I'm a firm believer that um, there comes a time when exercise is completely unproductive. But well, I, I mean, that, no, that shouldn't be, that, I shouldn't say I'm a firm believer because I've just realised that if, I, if you're doing exercise, if it's not doing your body good, it's doing your mind good, isn't it? So, yeah, so I've just, just this very minute changed my mind on that. Yeah, but uh, now my exercise is just wandering about the place, keeping busy and taking the dog out. And of course, you know, riding a motorbike isn't um, isn't without its necessity need for to be quite fit. I mean, you know, you you use up quite a few calories on a motorbike ride, believe it or not. Some Bruno Flake. Trisha bought me this for Christmas, believe it or not. So I was, you know, saying I'm still on the same packet. So I don't actually smoke a pipe an awful lot. I mainly, mainly smoke it in the evenings. As a matter of fact, I might just be smoking it now, just for effect, just for something to do while I'm talking to you. You know, like um, a bit of theatricals. Anyway, thank you very much for looking in again. Not very interesting one today. It's snowing outside, as you might see in the beginning of this vlog. Not very much snow, but kind of powdery stuff. We get protected by the South Downs here from a lot of the uh, snow, which is a shame really, because uh, I quite like going sledging. I say that, I've, I've, uh, the last time I went sledging when it snowed, I, I think it must have been about five or six years ago. I was still, an elderly person, but I still went up the top of the hill and slid down a few times and it was tremendous fun. Anyway, I'm rabbiting on a bit. Mia wants to go out for her walk on shore, although you wouldn't think it looking at her. Can you see her there? Anyway, so thanks for looking in. Uh, I love all the comments. Despite what I said earlier, I'd love to get your nice comments and your likes. It's all going very well. Take care. Bye. <laughs>